Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie and I upload three videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's video. So I finally have for you guys my full face using nothing but e.l.f. cosmetics, right? That's what it's called, e.l.f. cosmetics? E.l.f. makeup products. I have everything except for like an actual setting spray and lash glue, but everything else is literally a full face of e.l.f. So what I'm going to be using for my setting and priming spray today is just my Catrice Prime and Fine. It's still drugstore, it's still affordable. But for my actual primer, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to be trying out the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer today. And we're just gonna, I don't actually have like a hydrating one. Like you like, you guys know, like I like to go in with a hydrating one and then go in with this. But for the sake of today's video, we're not gonna do that. We are just going to go in with this. And there is two sizes of this. The smaller one that I have is $6. And then I wanna say the bigger one is 10. I'm not exactly sure. I will have all prices on the screen. Ugh, I understand theft, but geez, after I buy it, I wanna get into it. So going ahead and just gonna pump that out. Ooh. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna be pink, but it's white because it looks pink in the bottle. Okay, so maybe I can. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my face. Mm. Don't know how I feel about the smell. It smells like like a cleaning spray. I don't know. I feel like a lot of stuff smells like cleaning sprays. <laughs> Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Who knows? But it feels nice. It feels really good. It doesn't feel really thick. It kind of feels satiny. Is that that? Yeah, it's a silicone uh, feeling because it's, I mean, the first two ingredients are dimethicone, dimethicone cross polymer. Yeah. And then the fourth ingredient, excuse me, fourth and fifth ingredient are dimethicone again. So definitely one of them primers. Now I am just gonna go ahead and go on with my Catrice Prime and Fine and just spray. I don't know why, but you can't help but spray so much of that every time you use it. How weird was it to see me with my hair fixed starting out the video? If you want a tutorial on this look, I can definitely do it. This is literally like a five minute hair tutorial. And I'm pretty sure you could do it with if you have straight hair, it's just, this is like third day hair. So, and that's the best time to do this style is whenever you're on like third day hair or like right before you finally wash your hair. So now we're going to go ahead and go in with the brows. Everything is still in its packaging, you guys. Like I haven't opened anything. I even got a couple of free products for ordering more than $25 on elf.com. And then you get free shipping over $15 and then you get free gift once you hit $25. So, so I have the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. So this is just what the brow pencil looks like. And I really, really remember liking, like I remember really, really liking this pencil. So I am just gonna go ahead and outline and then we're gonna go in with, oh my gosh. Do you see how ashy that looks? Like I hope, like I don't know if you guys could see like how ashy that looks. Is it gonna look like that on my brows? Let's, let's just see. Oof, okay. I don't know why it's so ashy, but as soon as you start using it, it all comes off. Yeah, I do really like this pencil. Like I said, it looks really ashy before you use it, but then like as soon as you go in with it, like that ashiness is gone. So I do recommend this, I believe it's like five or six bucks. Look at, everything will be on the screen. It's it's e.l.f., it's affordable, y'all. Cause I know e.l.f. is starting to get some things where you're just like, <laughs> I remember when everything used to be like two to three dollars and then everything went like to four to five and now it's like six dollars and up for the good stuff. And I'm like, excuse you, hold up. Wait a minute, it's a chopper. Who else is addicted to TikTok? <laughs> 
Oh, I'm so weird. I am so weird. <laughs> so I have this lock on liner and brow cream in the shade medium brown. I was about to say, I know I didn't buy no liner for my brows, but it's a lock on liner and brow cream. So it's really a two in one. So you can line your lids with, you can, you can do eyeliner with this and fill in your brows. That's pretty cool. Considering it's really cheap, you get a twofer. And this is just what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. And then I don't know if I told you guys, I have mine in the shade medium brown and that's just what it looks like. And we're just gonna go ahead and take this um, lavish brow groomer and let's go ahead and spool out some of that uh, brow pencil that we did. Just that way like, it's not too much product in one spot. Okay, so like I said, going in with this lavish brow grooming pencil and their pomade, we're just gonna go ahead and like I said, just start filling it in. The good thing about outlining the, your brows first with the brow pencil is that you don't have to be as precise with it, especially if you want that really sharp tail because since you went in with the brow pencil first, you got all the preciseness that you need. So it is also going to be just a little bit cleaned up for you. Medium brown is actually, a, it's, it's, it's a really good color, but it's darker than I would expect. I'm just happy that it's not a red undertone um, I'm just glad it's not a red undertone brow color because a lot of browns always end up being red so I'm glad that this is not really red toned. All right, so brows are done. So the next thing we're gonna go in with, and you guys know that I've already been loving trying this and just really enjoying it. And that is the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. And it's this one in the tube. Now the putty primer is good too, if you know how to work it. And this one's also cheaper and it's just as good within making your eyeshadows last and just really stay in place throughout the day. The only thing that this one is not going to do is, um, it's just not really going to color correct your eyelids as well as the putty primer one though. But also if you think the putty primer is too thick and you just don't enjoy using it, I would recommend this one because it is a thinner, creamier formula. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with a little precise concealer brush. You guys, I really don't have, I not, not I really don't, but I don't have any e.l.f. brushes. So I'm not going to use e.l.f. brushes. The only thing that I have is my elf sponge okay and now for eyeshadow what we're going to be going in and playing with is the opposites attract eyeshadow palette and it just looks like this i really like this eyeshadow palette because you have warms and you have cool tones and it, i don't know i think it's just it it's like an all-in-one palette so like if you want a warm tone palette and you want a cool tone palette i'd recommend this because it's like you're basically getting two nine pan eyeshadow palettes for 14 bucks which isn't that bad so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade Fresh right here and use that to set my eyelids down. I set down every single eyeshadow primer. It doesn't matter if I use the one I'm using now, the putty primer, the concealer, anything that I use to prime my lids, I always set it down. That's just me. I may be defeating the purpose of priming your lids or whatever, but I just don't like for eyeshadows to skip. And since I'm used to doing this, I wanna give all eyeshadows a fair chance. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take Happy and I'm gonna run that in my crease. And, oh, I hate when I have to dirty my brushes. I'm going to take my Profusion ES1 brush and that is just their large blending eyeshadow brush. So like I said, I'm going in with that yellow shade Happy and we're just gonna start buffing that into our crease. So these shadows are really, really pigmented, like right off the bat. Who else thought that that saying used to be right off the back? Or is it just me? I have a lot of things that I say really fast because I'm not sure <laughs> what the word is supposed to be towards the end. My favorite thing to do during quarantine is like wearing dresses, like, cause I feel like it helps like just fix your hair and throw on a dress. You don't even have to do your makeup and you look so put together and just pretty and girly. And I'm so glad that I invested in dresses last summer cause I would do not want to wear pants and dresses. Dresses are a really good, fast way of looking really put together and really cute. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shade I like that. I'm gonna take the shade Saucy and do it be a little bit more precise in my crease. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this brush from Amazon. I keep forgetting to link that for you guys, but I promise it will be linked in today's video. I promise. 
Okay, I'm just gonna be go a little bit lower with that shade Saucy. Make sure we're not going over the yellow that's really close to our brow bone. We're gonna try to keep this like right in the socket. And I'm just being really precise and extra explaining in case any of you have this eyeshadow palette and you're needing some looks and wanted to do, wanted to follow along. I feel like I'm not seeing the Saucy shade. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I will also try to remember to zoom you guys in when I'm editing on my eyes, I always forget. I feel like there's not like a real big difference in this Saucy shade and yeah, this Saucy shade is kind of a dry compared to Happy. And yeah, it's not a real big shade difference. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more intense. It's not really what I was looking for. So I guess I'll just keep building it till I get what I'm looking for, I guess, I don't know. It would make sense if I would say, if I were to say like these are like warm cool tones or cool warm tones. Like I feel like they're very subtle, kind of like fall colors. No, because fall's more warm warm. I don't know how to explain it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shade Cheeky and I'm going to apply this to my lid and up into that very lower crease. And I'm using another brush from Amazon. And I really like these, these kind of brushes for what I'm about to try to do. And I'm just gonna take it all over the lid. Wow. I feel like these shadows aren't all that. Not for the price you pay for the palette. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like I've seen so many people talk about this palette and rave about it, but I'm just like, I don't know what palette you were using, but mine's kind of sucks. See, even with my finger, like nothing is happening. Getting a little bit better see and then when i go to blend it go to blend it all just blended away it reminds me a lot of that nyx eyeshadow palette i used a while back i don't like this don't like it let me try a different brush i'm gonna try this real techniques don't know what it's called the name rubbed off but it just looks like this i'm gonna try this brush i i don't like it What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in a little bit of warm with the shade Cheeky. So maybe if I mix these two, I don't know. I'm not liking this one bit. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and apply these e.l.f. eye tapes and I'm gonna go in with that cream brow liner stuff. I don't know, do a wing since nothing else is working out. Okay, I really like that for doing like a wing liner. It was really easy to work with and super creamy. Guys, this. I'm gonna try this side out one day and just play with this side. But so far, all the shades that I used on this side, like the only really good one was this one. This one's all right, but like these two did almost absolutely nothing for me. I was able to build this one up with my finger and then it just like kind of blended away when I went to blend out the crease. I mean, you could still see some of it in, but only because I mixed it in with this warm shade. Like I said, I'm gonna keep trying to play with it, keep trying to make it work, try it with different primers and stuff. But right now, first impressions, y'all, like I don't like it. I really don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Then I did get a mascara from them and I got their Lash Extending Mascara in the shade black. And it, you know, it's just simple, plain e.l.f. packaging. And then just a, you know, traditional all wand, nothing special about it. I'm gonna go ahead and just coat my lashes really fast.
it's not terrible. I mean, it, it emphasizes your lashes, but it's not doing like wondrous things for me. So the next thing I, ooh, sorry. So the next thing I did pick up were these faux mink lashes in the style of Drama Queen. And honestly, these remind me of my lashes that I sell in the style Grace. And they cost the same. My lashes are $4. The more you buy, the cheaper they are. So yeah, these are $4. Um, I'm gonna try the little lash applicator that they give you, see if I like it. But obviously first we are going to measure and cut off the extra band. And I'm gonna apply these you guys and then I'll be right back. Okay you guys, we are back with lashes on and finally with the good note. Super easy to apply once you trim them to finch, fit your eye for the band to be as thick as it is. I'm actually surprised that you can maneuver it as well as you can. My eye is starting to water, so it's gonna make the inner corner of this lash pop up. Okay, so now moving in with our face, I did go ahead and purchase a different shade of the e.l.f. Um, oil-free satin finish foundation. And I have, this This says light medium with neutral undertones in the shade sand. And I feel like this is, their shades are so off online than what they are like once you get them in. And I feel like this was really light. Like I thought it was gonna be perfect for me. I don't know, maybe it's the bottle, let's see. Ew. Oh, do you guys see that? Like what it squirted out as it says oil free, but that looks like a lot of oil just squirted out. Oh, oh, wipe that off. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, it's mm. Ugh, definitely gotta shake, shake it, cause that's that's nasty. Going in with my elf sponge, we're just gonna go ahead and start applying that. And it did get lighter than what it looks like on the bottle. So let's just go ahead and, I don't know, let's just go for it. Definitely lighter than what it looks like in the bottle. And I'm really, really happy about that. This looks how it looks when you buy it online. Like the picture online is what it looks like applied to my face. But in the bottle, it looks really dark. So just trust the picture online. That was two pumps for one side of my face. And one thing I do already know about this foundation is you do have to set it or it is gonna oxidize. But yes, you do have to set this foundation or it will oxidize on you throughout the day. And not only will it oxidize, but it'll wear off patchy too. So then you'll have like, it'll oxidize patchy if that makes sense. So some places will look normal and then you'll have like these orange spots around your face if you don't set it. So that's why I really wanted to use like a hydrating primer or just something to moisturize the skin, which is why I barely did my skincare right before I sit that, sat down, as well as making sure I used that Prime and Fine spray. And then you guys know we will go in with our um, e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. See, like if you ever, if you would have seen it on the back of my hand, it was already starting to like turn orange. Now you guys you know, and I know that I already love this. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one is in the shade Medium Peach. And you don't need a lot of this, just the tiniest bit goes a very, very long way. And I'm glad that this one is hydrating because it's gonna give some, a little bit of hydration back to everything. Because even though that this foundation says a satin finish, I really do feel like it's a lot more matte than satin. So one of the free gifts I got was this e.l.f. Smooth and set to eye powder in the shade sheer. So I am just gonna go ahead and set only underneath my eyes with this. And it's just a little tiny one like this. This is so cute. Shake a little bit out, I guess. Okay, take our little sponge, blend out any creasing, and go in and set that. Really, really white. Really, really white. Doesn't look bad though underneath the eye. Nope. It actually really does smooth under there looks really good underneath my eye i like i like this i'm glad it was a free little gift i actually like this little under eye powder okay and now for the rest of our face we're going to use the elf halo glow setting powder 
and I have mine in the light shade. Yeah, I have mine in the shade light. And we're just gonna go ahead and set the rest of our face with this. I'm actually sunburned right now because I, does anyone else like go to do like one chore and then like you end up doing a million things? So I went when I've been needing to get rid of some stuff in my garage and I finally was able to get rid of it. A friend of mine took it to her storage room for me. And um, so we hung out for a little while. She took it whenever she left. And after that, I was like, okay, like I'm just gonna go ahead and reorganize some stuff just so that way, you know, like the garage is how I want it to look now that I have the space. So after I finished organizing the garage I was like oh let me leaf blow like I didn't feel like sweeping the garage like because I only have one broom and it's for inside the house so I didn't want to like cross contaminate I guess you could say so I was like you know what let me just get our leaf blower and I'm just gonna blow all this dirt out the garage and so I was like huh so as I'm blowing it out the garage and down the driveway I'm like hmm the edges of our lawn like this where the grass meets the sidewalk i was like that really needs to be cleaned up so i go get the weed eater no before that before i started any of that i was like you know what i really need to spray the house for bugs because we're responsible for it and bugs are coming out so i was like let me spray the house for bugs so i went all around the house sprayed the bug bug spray like you know along the lining of the house and then i did like the roof and around the windows and then i did like the inside of the house anywhere that there was concrete and so then i blew like then i leaf blew blew all the dirt out the garage and then I led that led to me edging up the lawn and so then after that happened so then after all of that I was like huh I already edged up the lawn maybe I should just mow the lawn I ended up mowing the lawn and I ended up sunburning myself, getting a sunburn because I didn't like, like I said, everything was just so spur of the moment that like I didn't grab my hat. I didn't put on my SPF. Like I just started and I ended up sunburned on my face. So now all that redness that you've seen like all across here is sunburn, which is so funny because that's actually where all like majority of my freckles are. And right now they're really dark because I am sunburned right there. And just before y'all say it's sun damage or whatever, I was born with freckles. I've always had them right here. I actually used to get teased about them all of the time. And it makes me so mad that they're now a popular trend. Cause I'm like, okay, but back in the early 2000s, late 90s, like people used to call me freckle face and you were ugly if you had freckles. And now all of a sudden everybody's like, oh, freckles are so cute. And I'm like, Really? Because most of y'all made fun of me for having freckles or made fun of people for having freckles. Because if y'all didn't, freckle face wouldn't be a thing. And now everybody's making it like to be called a freckle face is something cute. Like, no. Okay, going in and I'm going to go ahead and mix cheeky and warm again and run that along the lower lash line. And I'm going to try to keep this majority of it really close to my actual lashes. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with Happy and just kind of blend that out. And just to get some of that yellow down there as well. Gotta be kind of careful. Don't wanna look, I got jaundice. Now going in with that Lash Extending Mascara. And since the entire look is matte, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with the shade Fresh right here and use that just to kind of brighten up that inner corner. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and go in with bronzer and I have this primer infused bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkiss. And this was actually the only shade they had left. So if you're gonna want this, I would hurry up and go grab it. But this shade actually looks like it's gonna be really good for me. So let's go ahead and see. That's just what that looks like. And I'm going to take my complex culture brush. I actually really like this, but oh, that's powdery. Ooh, I'm scared. Ooh, it is a perfect, perfect shade for me. I like to tap around my forehead just to be careful with my hair, especially if I fix my hair before I start. I like to just tap, 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 tap. I like that bronzer. I like it a lot. <laughs> Who knows what that's off of? So I also have their primer infused blush, and this one is in the shade Always Cheeky. 
No, I just love me a good peachy toned blush. I really do. And these are actually a really good size for six bucks. Like these are pretty big. And so I'm just going to take, where's my Ulta brush, blush brush? I really like this. Taking my Ulta um, cheek brush, it's a blush brush. We're just gonna go ahead and start applying that. Ooh, that's kind of, has a sheen to it. It's not too much of a sheen. Cover up the sunburn just to add some more pink and red to my skin. <laughs> so for highlighter, this is actually a highlighter that I've really been wanting to try because once again, people love to hype stuff up. So this is actually the Elf and Nabala Noon, Noor? Nabala Noor, Nabella Noor? I don't know. Highlighting and it's just a loose highlighter and this is in the shade Neharika Glow, Nehar Neharikia Glow. Y'all, I do not want to mispronounce this. Somebody, somebody help me down below. And this has the same packaging as their, uh, this right here, their glow powder. Same exact packaging. Okay, so I'm just gonna take, take out just a tiny bit. Go in with my Amazon highlighting brush. Okay, I thought it was gonna be too dark for me, but okay. Okay, if she ain't ready for spring and summer, who is? I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add some of this to my inner corner. Just just a, just a little bit, a little bit won't hurt. It's really glittery though, so if you don't like glitter, you're not gonna like this. Okay, and I forgot to contour my nose. <laughs> Let me do that real quick. Okay, so now that all that is done, we're gonna open up a fresh brow wow, wow brow. And mine is in the shade of brunette. And we're just gonna go ahead and set. Ooh, this is really red. I should have stuck with my original color. See, this is what I mean about red tone brow products. This is brunette. Brunettes are brown, not red. That's So now four lips. But what, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this lip liner in the shade Deep Brown. And I used to have this a long time ago and I ran out, oh, middle of last year I ran out, but I really like this lip liner in the shade of Deep Brown. Now I mean like this is a brown brown. And the last thing that I have to unpackage is this e.l.f. And this was also a free gift, moisturizing, which I need, lipstick. And this one is the shade Ravishing Rose. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my lips with this. Like I said, this is a free gift. I did not pick these colors to go together. That's as good as the lips are gonna get, guys, because I'm on the struggle bus with them right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this lip, this lip plumping gloss in the shade Champagne Glam. Oh, that's pretty though. And then just a trick, like if you don't want your lip gloss to get all nasty, before you stick it back in there, just take a wipe or some kind of Kleenex, just something, and you just wipe off the wand. Let's see, lashes, brows. Okay, everything is done, you guys. We are, we are in the home stretch. So, set, or curl, then set, then elf glowy do mist. So good, you can't help but spray a lot. Okay, guys, so that is it for today's makeup look. Let's go ahead and do a rundown of the products, and we are going to start with what I didn't like or what I wasn't the biggest fan of. And that is the eyeshadow palette and the mascara. The mascara is already running and like getting down on my lower lash line. And that was one of the most irritating things I think that a mascara can do is just run and run and run. Whew, that lip gloss is really spicy, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it's spicy and it didn't happen right away. It's, it's just now starting. Okay, and then the eyeshadow palette, like I said, I really, really gotta keep playing with this, but so I'm not mad at how my eye, my eyeshadow came out, but it's definitely not what I was going for. But nonetheless, it did kind of work out and it, my eye look is really pretty. But 
I really wanted it to be orangey and yellowy and it's very, very brown because I ended up having to mix this in just to get any kind of pigment that wouldn't blend away. So like I said, I'm going to keep playing with this. I'll keep you guys updated and I'll do like an update on it. But right now, like it's, it's not my favorite. I definitely have better from the drugstore. I definitely have better that's just affordable in general. But everything else, you guys, I really loved. This highlighter actually ended up it actually stopped being glittery once I sprayed and set it down and things like that. And now it's just a really, really pretty glow and I am here for it. I am loving it. Highly recommend this. Get this while you can because I do believe that this was limited edition. Lashes, like I said, shameless plug number two. They remind me of my lashes, her lashes. I'll put my Instagram right here on the screen. And the style Grace, like they, they remind me exactly of those lashes and they're the same price. And with my brand, the more lashes you buy the cheaper they are so really pretty lashes I really like them like I said they're exactly like my lashes in the style grace which I'm actually happy about because I always sell out of my lashes in the style grace really really fast so yeah that this foundation now that I have the right shade I really really like it I'm excited to see how it's going to wear throughout the day because like I said this is definitely if you are oily I don't know why it squirted out like oil, but after I shook it and I did a couple more pumps, it didn't squirt out with the oil stuff anymore. So I don't, I really don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know what oil that is or what it is because it says it's oil free, but it was like oily. I don't know, but this is definitely if you have dry skin, find your shade and try it out. I really like it the way it's sitting on my skin right now and it's not creasing where I usually get creases. Like right here, I'm sure I'm going to end up with a crease right here in the middle of the day because for whatever reason, I'm always like this and I don't know why. I don't know why. And then around my lip, my mouth, like I usually crease immediately with any foundation. This is not doing that. It's either that or it's that setting powder, but yeah. So... Yeah, other than that, you guys, I really liked all these products. Let me know what drugstore one brand tutorial I should do next because I really want to keep these videos strictly drugstore. So because, yeah, everybody can afford drugstore and it's affordable. So, yeah, that is everything for today, you guys. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.